Right then, boys and girls, this is Mil Milky Quail. We're going to do a bit of an onboard lap here now with John McGuinness on the pattern. Nice and bit, a little bit slower than Barty on the Fireblade, so we're going to see how we're going to get on here. A little bit slower, so we'll be able to talk for you the corners a little bit better. Camera angle's not the best, but we'll see what we can do. All right, boys, here we go. Off the start line, here he goes. Looking in the distance, dead easy, no problem, just up through the gearbox. Just waiting for the top of St. Ninians, okay? So that's what I'm looking for. Bush on the right-hand side, that's what I need to look for. There it is, just there's the bush, just there. In there on the right, pull over to the left. Centre of the road, just a little crest of the road. Look for the Christmas tree in the distance. Right-hand side, stay over on the right a little bit. Come back over now to the left, get to the closest there now with the manhole cover. Come over, look to the bottom of the kerb on the right-hand side of the road. Pull the bike straight, nice little wheelie over Agos. Nice little wheelie over this one as well, just there. And there's your breaking point now, that white house. See the white house on the left-hand side. So down, the gear, down one gear, and then come back on the power now just to jump over that little crest there. Centre of the road, stay away from the left, okay? Breaking now hard. Quarter bridge, busiest roundabout section on the island. Full tank of fuel, cold tyres, dead easy to fall off. Go nice and steady, nice and steady. Get the power on nice and steady, there we go. Back up through the gearbox now, come on. Let's get it on, let's get it on. Come on, all up through the gearbox. Nice little wheelie just there on the little bike. Coming up now, the, the white line splits to the white wall. There we go, there's your braking point. Braking now for the first left-hand bend, okay? So we're almost two miles on the circuit, cold left-hand side of the tyre, so be careful, okay? Be careful. Climb over the bike again, watch it here now. The depression there, dead easy to lose the front just there as well, so be careful there. Get the power on nice and hard for your run out now, up towards Snugger, okay? So come on, this bit's lovely, absolutely lovely. Up through the gearbox, it's beautiful. Big, fast left-hand bend here at Snugborough Bend, okay? Beautiful, it's open, it's smooth, it's gorgeous. Look at that, it's lovely. Pull a bike straight again here. Over towards a curve on the right-hand side of the road. There's a braking point just there, where the white line finishes. Down one gear, come back on the power, underneath the wall. Braking hard now, braking hard. Back down now, underneath the, on the right-hand side of the road. Hard, watch the bump just here, just there it is and watch the bottom of the dip there as well. Out to the pavement on the right hand side, back up through the gearbox, all the way up through now the Bala Hutchin. So get your elbows in, your knees in, your toes in. Have a quick look at the temperature gauge off the start line now, make sure she's not running too hot. Okay, so we're running up now towards Balagheri, okay? Remember Balagheri, for me, it's the most important corner on the whole circuit, okay? That's the one I need to get right. It's the most important because it's the straight afterwards, okay? So at the dip here, I'm looking to the kerb on the inside, where the kerb is on the inside, I'm looking for the white line, okay? So there's the white line, there it is now, back on the power, see? That white line, so keep it up now, back through, back to top gear. Nice little lift there on the wheel. Elbows in again, toes in, knees in. Looking to the distance for this next left hand kink here now, it takes you all week to get this one flat out, okay? You can't come through here for flat out on the first night of practice. So this one here, DJ's this one here, just under there, okay? Over towards watch the kerb, just sticks out on the right hand side of the road. Stay there now, come over to the left where the telegraph pole is on the left, just there. And then run over then towards the pub on the right. Stay, stay on the right hand side of the road. Don't come over to the left, stay on the right, as close to the kerb as possible for this big jump here. This one's like going into outer space. Okay, it lands. I'm still full gas all the way from Balagheri, you see, that's why Balagheri is so important, okay? So we're running down now in towards Greba Castle. Look for the White House. See the White House in the distance? There it is. Now, okay? So there's your braking point, then one gear, come back on the power through these three lefts, one, two, three, braking now, for this left hand bend here now at Greba Castle, okay? Watch this one here, boys, watch this one. See the camera goes away from you just there, very easy to high side there on the exit, okay? Short shift it for this little jump just here, for your run through in towards Appledean, okay? Keep the power on, keep the power on, shut the throttle, climb over the bike, and back on the power again. Let it run out towards the two dogs, back underneath the kerb on the right hand side of the road, and back out then towards this hay bale there on the left. Breaking now, just there where the kerb sticks out for Greba Bridge, okay? Two traps, watch the wall and watch the bump on the road just there. That's it, keep, keep it on, get up through the gearbox, back up to tip, top gear as quick as you can through now and towards Gorsley. First one's not a problem, this first one's easy, it's, okay, it's the next one, late apex, remember it's late, so it's not as you see it, so it's late, it's not now, go in now, okay? So it's not that one, it's that one. Late apex, it's really difficult, it takes you years to get that one right, okay? So we run down now, in towards Balacrane, okay, so I'm breaking the mushroom tree just there. There we go, breaking, coming down through the gearbox, get it steadied up. So we run through Balacrane. Nice little smooth corner. Back on the power up through by the wall, through in towards my corner here on the left hand side. Just don't go in too early and cut your shoulder on the wall, okay? So underneath there, right underneath. Stay over onto the right and go into then number one. Okay, into number one. Out to the white line, back into number two, then cross the white line on the exit. If we run down now and towards Bligbridge, okay? 
down one gear at the bleach bridge, whatever gear you're in, and back on the power now to get back underneath it. Bumpy, so bumpy. Want to be excellent on the right-hand side of the road if you're carrying plenty of speed, lovely. If you run down now in towards Laurel Bank, okay, these three rights here, don't go in too early, okay? Back in to that last one now. Pull the bike straight, climb over the bike, back on the power. Lovely. Look for the first chevron on the left-hand side of the road. There it is on the early apex for this one, okay? Nice early apex and drive it out. For your run-up now, up towards the black dub, okay? Just watch this little step in the road, it just drops away just here. Pull the bike straight, over to the right-hand side of the road, and then back on the power now for a late apex there now. Climbing over the bike, really hard to make the bike turn through there, okay? For your run-up now and towards Glen Helen 1, okay? So here's Glen Helen, out for the first orange sign, there it is. Lovely, lovely like Daytona out to the second orange sign, and watch this one, the camera goes the other way. Watch the front, horrible. Okay, drive to the wall, just there, off, down one gear, and then back in towards a black square in the centre of the road and back on the power. Watch the camber of the road again there, it goes away from you, very easy to crash. Look for the tree here, the camber of the road goes from right to left, very easy to crash. See the yellow flags? Because someone's crashed here. <laughs> okay, so watch the camber of the road there, it's terrible. If you run up then, up here now, up Craig Willys Hill, up towards Lamfell, keep on the power. You need to keep the power on to keep driving you up the hill, it's so, so important to keep the power on. Really hard to get the bike to turn. If you run up now up towards Cronker Body and look, it's like a different racetrack. The whole road opens up for you. If you run up through now, just getting top gear just as you come up onto the top of the gear, on top of Cronker Body. Looking now, you have to breathe. Get three deep breaths into your body to get some oxygen to your brain and then hold your breath then for the end of Cronker Body, okay? Here we go, end of Cronker Body, look at it. Oh, it's fast. Oh, I know what's going on there, Joe, in the gearbox. <laughs> okay, little bump just down the exit. If you run down now in towards the 11th milestone, okay? Fat fast for the first one, slow down for this second one now, so, okay? So back on the power now, pull over the bike, just get it by the milestone and let it drift out towards the curb on the right-hand side of the road. Back up now, all I'm thinking about now is Hanley's. I've got to be thinking what I'm coming to. All the time I've got to be thinking what I'm approaching. Into Hanley's now, okay? So there, the 30 mile an hour sign's breaking, down one gear, it's really fast through here on the classic bike. Dip it into the left, it's the right that you want. Okay, then cross out, then over. Watch this little dip just here, see, the road just drops away. Make sure the bike is straight for that one as well. For your run down now and towards the top of the garrow. That's all I need to worry about now is the top of the garrow. I'm full gas, thinking top of the garrow, get the top of the garrow right. Okay, centre of the road there, just a little wheelie just there. Aim over towards the cottage on the left hand side, and then go back straight underneath the curb. See, right in by the curb, open the road up for you, back on the power. It's a beautiful corner. Pull the bike straight, bumpy on the exit. Okay, run down now towards the bottom of the garrow. Make sure the bike, you must drive the bike through. Don't come through in a closed throttle. Drive the bike through. See, John got back on the power there to make sure the bike jumps through. For your run down, down towards the 13th milestone. Unlucky for some, unlucky 13, it's horrible. Late apex on the entry, late apex on the exit. So don't go in now, stay a little bit later. Now go in, see there's the apex there. Pull the bike straight, just watch the wall. And again, don't go in too early for this one. Stay out late, 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 late. There, now go in, there's the apex there. You see, late on the entry, late on the exit. For your run down now in towards Kurt Michael, okay? into Douglas Road corner, this right-hand bend. It's like a funnel, it gets really narrow here, okay? So get your braking done there, the crossroads just there, and braking, slow all your speed off, and get, make sure you get back on the power now to get back to drive it through, okay? It's one that really sucks you in early. If you run up through the village now, for Kirk Michael Village is lovely, it's the best thing going because it's, it gives you a real good sense of speed, okay? Don't have to worry about it, just keep the throttle pinned, just watch the curb just there, over then towards Slukern Park on the right hand side of the road, it's your exit out of the village, okay? Yellow line, yellow line. So there's the first yellow line. There's your second yellow line. There's your third yellow line, okay? It's the last one that's the problem. If you run now in towards Ren Cullen, okay, to come down one gear, whatever gear you're in, down one gear, get the power back on, make the bike wheelie, then go underneath the wall here now, underneath the wall, and stay to the right, stay on the white line, stay on the white line for the last one, pull the bike straight now for the worst wheelie, even on the classic bike, look. Okay, you must make sure the bike is straight for the jump. For your run down now up towards Bishop's Court, okay, this bit's beautiful. It's very dark under the trees, that's the only trouble. Look for the curb on the inside, keep the full power, full power, curb on the inside, there it is, and then get straight underneath the hedge on the right-hand side of the road. Let the bike drift over the white line, whole bike moves around, in towards now this next section, Iceman's. Curb, hedge, curb. Okay, so there's curb, there's the hedge, there's the curb. For your run down now in towards Alpine, first plateau, down one gear, okay? Over the crest and back on the power again. It's the bumps on the road that's the problem there. It's a beautiful corner, just the undulations that upset you up. Okay, for your run down now towards Balakob, this fast right-hander, not a problem, it's a lovely corner. For your run through here, now breaking from my breaking point, the 30 mile an hour signs, 
for Balaf Bridge, okay? No later than the 30 mile an hour signs. Bumpy on the entry, so bumpy it is, it's horrible, okay? The bridge comes up really fast, let the brakes off, get back on the power, jump it over. Back on the gas now, all the way out through. There's John waving at the crowd. <laughs> um, for your run through now, out through, up through the gearbox, okay? So I've done over Balaf Bridge, which is a big jump. Now we're coming to the biggest jump on the, on the racetrack, okay? Called Balacry. It is gonna make you cry, okay? There's fast left hand bend here, and straight afterwards a big jump. Look to the curve on the inside, white line just there. For your run through, make sure the bike is straight. The bike has to be straight. Wheelies and lands, okay? For your run down now, I talked about Balagarian being the most important. This for me is the second most important. Quarry bends, okay? Got to keep your momentum through it, okay? So very fast, really fast. Down one gear, back on the power, underneath that right, let, cross the white line and drag the bike. You have to drag the bike across to the white line again and then back underneath then. Over the bike again, underneath the hedge. Over the bike again, underneath the curb. Over the bike again, underneath the hedge again. So, so important, so fast. And that's it now, again, elbows in, knees in, toes in, get in behind that screen, get in out of that wind for me, run down now, so we'll be straight, okay? So that's it now, full gas. Look for your competitors in front of you as well, boys, okay? Look, see if you can see them on the road, you know you're closing down, okay, and you're doing well, so look for the, in the distance for them if you can catch them. Okay, so I'm just full gas there, looking beautiful on the classic bike, got loads of time. If you run down through this fast right-hand bend, it's a little bit, it's not, it's not a straight, it's a bend. As soon as you see the bridge, start braking. So that's a braking nice and nice and hard now for, for into Solby Bridge, okay? Just remember it comes up so, so fast. John's waving to the crowd there, but remember you can't afford to do that on race day, okay? So just get back on the power over towards the pub here on the right-hand side. Get over towards the ginger, right over there into the gut on the right-hand side of the road, okay? And then underneath the telegraph pole just there on the left. Let the bike run out to the right, underneath the left here now, and pull the bike straight over here on the right-hand side of the road. See how it just jumps a little bit? Bumpy, so, so bumpy. These next two, three miles now into, into Ramsey are horrendous. Okay, so back on the power now, ride the bumps. Don't go in too early to this next right, okay? So you've got a right and then a left and then a jump. Okay, so just get it in, pull the bike straight, over on the left and pull the bike straight now. Jump over on the right-hand side of the road and stay on the right-hand side of the road, okay? It's so bumpy, but stay on the right because we've got a little left-hand kink here, okay? So, so bumpy. Stand up on the footrests, ride it like a motocross bike, okay? Just use your legs and arms suspension. So bumpy. Listen, John's not shutting the throttle at all. So important to keep the power on. Keep the power on. Keep the power on, over the jump here now, over towards the white wall on the right hand side of the road, and then back on the power, then braking now, down a couple of gears, and then back on the power just to drag underneath the wall just there. See, just drags you under, see the corner, braking, back down this lovely left hand bend, beautiful. Back on the power now, up through the gearbox again. Back up through, back to top gear as fast as I can go. Through these little kinks here now. Remember I said curb, hedge, curb earlier? And curb, hedge, curb, hedge, curb. Okay, so just keeping it straight as possible through the conquer fields, okay? Just watch the K on the tree where the curb sticks out into the bumpiest corner of the whole circuit now, okay? Bottom of Sky Hill, it's horrendous. Big bump just there, big bump just there. So, so bumpy. So, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Back on through, keep a level throttle through this right now at Milltown Cottage. Underneath the wall, pull the bike straight. Just watch the front here. Tank slaps a little bit. Keep the bike straight. Short shift towards Milltown Bridge. Just a little wheelie just there underneath the bridge here now at Milltown. Okay, let the bike run out to the left for your run down now in towards Ramsey, okay? Looking for your braking point now into, Parliament, into Schoolhouse Corner, just there where the road cuts away on the left. Back in the power now to drive it through. Bumpy here on the exit. Drive them down through on the crossroads. Big bump just there, bang. Braking now into the nice new surface into Parliament Square, okay? Don't fall off here, there's far too many people to be around here to fall off. Get back on the power. Short shift it now, back out. Just watch the camber, the road goes away from you, so people have even high-sided just there, okay? Into this horrible corner here called Crookshanks or May Hill, okay? Where the, where the wall on the right-hand side, where that meets the kerb, just there, that's your apex point. Okay, bumpy, stay on the left all the way around, so, so bumpy. If you run now up towards White Gates, this one here, okay? Lovely left-hand bend, back through there, over the kerb, drive up through now towards Stella Maris, it's my favourite corner on the whole circuit, it's beautiful, cambered corner, it's beautiful, right underneath there, oh. Spitch out the other side of the road, braking now at the, at the right side on the right hand side of the road into the hairpin, okay? Back down through, keep your revs up now. Especially on the old classic bikes, slipping the clutch just here maybe a little bit just to get the thing to drive, and that's it now. I'm climbing all the way up now for the next four or five miles. I'm just climbing, climbing, climbing. So again, obviously, keep the power on as quick as I can. Into, into this one here now, waterworks. Slow down, slow down a little bit for the first one. 
slow down a lot for this one okay bumpy so so bumpy and it's tight again remember the late apex but look how bumpy it is if you're driving up now through now tower bends okay tower bends is beautiful it's just it's bumpy okay there's a bump just there there's a bump just here one two and then three there on the exit okay if you run up now towards the gooseneck keep it on keep it on underneath the white square here on the right hand side of the road Braking now, climb over the bike and back on the power now to drive it through again. Braking now in towards the gooseneck, okay? Just get the thing turned and back on the power as quick as you possibly can. John's waving to the crowd here and playing with the gearbox. <laughs> Free run up now through. This fast left hand bend, it's beautiful, okay? This fast left hand bend, not a problem that one. Out towards the little tree on the right hand side of the road, it's this one here because the camera goes away from you at mid corner. So you come through here now and the front goes light just there. When you're on full song okay if you run up now towards the 26th milestone bumpy you have to just roll throttle climb over the bike and back in the power again but bumpy bumpy on the exit just here keep your power on you've got to keep your power on up these up the old sections okay number three this for me is the third most important corner on the whole circuit this is the steepest part of the circuit for the classic bikes you've got to really keep your momentum on through this fast left into number one out to the white line into number two out to the white line into number three braking as soon as you see the bridge in front of you Okay, climb over the bike and watch the camber. See the camber goes away from you as well. Dead easy to lose the front here as well, so be careful. Drag the bike over to the right as far as you can to the right hand side of the road and look underneath the scaffolding tower. See the scaffolding tower just there on the left? That's what I'm looking for. Beautiful. Hard on the gas now through the snotty bridge, this little right hand bend here called the snotty bridge. Bumpy on the exit as you come out. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. Again, elbows in, knees in, toes in. Looking for your competitors in front of you. There's a little lay by just here on the right hand side of the road. You need to be in top gear just before here, otherwise your gear is out. See where this lay-by is, just here, just there. You need to be in top gear just before that, okay? Otherwise you know your gear is a mile out. If you run up now, I'm looking for my competitors in front of me again. You can get take a little bit of a rest, but don't rest too much because these little kinks can catch you out, okay? Through these little big bridges at the end here, through the first bridge, okay, through the first bridge, let the, through the first bridge, let the bike run out then to the left-hand side of the road, and then back then underneath, and then break in now at the second bridge just there. There we go, into the mountain box here now. Ignore the first one. Out to the white line, back into number two. There's number two. Cross the white line, back into number three, just here. Perfect. Back up through the gearbox as fast as I can go, okay? We run now down towards George's Folly. Just keep going back up through the gearbox. Again, this next right-hand bend, this one here called George's Folly or Casey's. You need to take it flat out, okay? It takes you all week again to get that one flat, okay? If you run now down and towards the black hole here, in Okay, down one gear, bumpy on the right hand side, bang. Back on the power now to run through in towards the veranda. Okay, veranda, remember there's four bends, you've got to count them boys in your head. Here's number one, stay out. Here's number two, stay out. Here's number three, this is number three, that's the one you go for, number three. Back into number three and back into number four and then out on the exit. Back to top gear now on the exit. Okay, if we run down now into a bungalow bridge, remember this one, it's a nightmare. Really bad, really dangerous, dead easy to crash here. The camber's with you here, it's positive camber here. You go for this one, there's a bump in the road just there, and then it goes negative camber, so it's dead easy to crash. I've crashed there myself, so I know all about it, okay? So just be so careful with that one. Run out then towards a the black box here on the left-hand side of the road, out to the black box, and then you know this is the corner now. You get right underneath the curb on the right-hand side of the road, climb over the bike, and back on the power now to go through bungalow. If you drive up then now, under the bridge here now at the bungalow, again, elbows in, knees in, climbing up to the highest point on the circuit now towards Brandywell okay so I'm looking now for an oblong white sign on the left hand side that's what I'm looking for okay so you need to be in here on the right over and then towards the oblong sign here now on the left okay there it is and then back then on to the, the bollards as close as you can on the bollards on the right hand side of the road and then back on the power now apex it just there okay Brandywell's exactly the same as the 33rd and exactly the same as Keppel okay so we're coming up now to the 32nd or, or, or Dukes okay so slow down for the first one, drive through the second two. So here now, slowing down for this one, here's number one. So slow slow for this one, back in the power now for number two. Out to the white line, back in for number three. Perfect, it's a beautiful corner, so important. Breaking now for windy corner, it's called that for that reason. It's always windy. The wind always gets you from the right or from the left, okay? So be careful. If it's a windy day at the bottom, it's going to be terrible up there. Bumpy on the exit, just there. Feed run up through the gearbox. Coming up now through the 33rd milestone. Remember, it's just the same as Brandywell. So go over to the left to then close to the bollards for the left hand bend, okay? So we'll let the bike drift over now to the left hand side of the road, out towards the orange sign over there on the left, and then back then underneath the bollards. See, John's dragging the bike over to the right, and then back on the power now to get underneath the left. It's beautiful. 
gorgeous corner. It's orgasmic. It's awesome. Okay, for your run now down towards Keppel. Keppel's exactly the same as that last corner we've just gone through. We're aiming now for the white box, okay? Over towards the white box here on the left-hand side of the road. Then get underneath the bollards, okay? Stay as close to those bollards as possible. Climb back over them, back on the power now to get through. Okay, run over to the right. Dropping down now, you see? So you're dropping back down now towards Douglas. Over towards Kate's Cottage. You can't get through it flat. You've got to roll it. Back on the power again. For your run through, down towards the Kregner Bar. Over the little jump just here. Here we go, coming down now. There's some braking marker boards on the right-hand side. Number three, generally as a rule, is the place you want to be start braking. Dead easy to outbrake yourself. Okay, brandish now has changed, so it's more important now to get your speed out of this corner. Just watch the camera on the exit as well. Back up through, wave to the fans here on the left-hand side. For your run down now towards brandish, okay? So, so important, brandish. So fast, it's beautiful. Okay, it used to be third gear, now it's fifth gear. Even on the classic bike, it might even just be a rolling sick. So perfect. Light apex, see through the corner. It's a beautiful, beautiful corner. So over on the right-hand side of the road. Yeah, John's just come down one gear there now, you see. Back to fifth, drive it through. Let it run out on the exit. Oh, perfect. Okay, if we run down now, in towards this one here, Hillbury. So you've gone from a lovely corner to a complete other corner, okay? Light apex again can't see it you know it goes to the right but you just can't see your peeling point there it is now back on the power You've just got to wait just be patient if you run up now towards Cronk Namona uphill takes all the power out of the bike three left hand bends ignore the first one so stay out a little bit for the first one to stay out now go back in for number two there's number two underneath the hedge it's bumpy as well here's number three breaking at the green sign see that green sign no later than that green sign now for signpost corner watch it on the front end very easy to lose the front here on the front end you're pushing the front so hard through there for your drive up through now towards Bedstead, okay? Watch Bedstead, for me, is the hardest corner on the circuit. Look to the inside where the, where the manhole, where the signpost is there, and back on the power. For your run down now in towards the nook, okay? Breaking here now at number two marker board with the nook sign. Where the white line is on the inside, look for where that ends, and back on the power now to drive it through. For your run down now, at the shell grip, just there, there's your braking point. Watch this little bump just here, let the brakes off, ride it again, braking hard now into towards Governor's Bridge. Okay, remember, so easy to fall off around here. You don't want to be falling off here. It's going to spoil your race, okay? You're not going to hurt yourself, but it's going to spoil your race. Back up through. Just get the thing back up through. Point it up through. Just watch the little bump on the end as you come out. And that's it now. Drive it really hard over the start and finish line. Beautiful, okay? Absolutely beautiful. So you, there's John done one lap. You've got another three to go now, okay? So that's it. Again, elbows in on the flying lap. It's so much faster through here on the flying lap than the out lap for the top of Ray Hill. And that's it, boys.